Hey guys, Kilo Kilo 4, Mike November Delta, David, normally operating out of Clearwater, Florida, but I'm at Hinesville, Georgia, uh, Echo Mike 91, uh, working ISS via APRS today with uh, the Kenwood TH uh, D72 and uh, Arrow 2 antenna. Um, just gonna show you all my settings and um, how I operate it. Um, there's a lot of good videos out there. Uh, but it seems like there's always one or two things missing uh, to kind of bring you through the whole process. So I'm going to attempt to cover everything and not miss a step. Um, uh, there's a lot of good write-ups too, uh, you know, if you're into reading instructions and stuff. But it took me numerous sources to get this all figured out and working properly. Uh, there's some little nuances that you may miss uh, to make it all work. So here goes. Okay, here we go. First thing we're going to do is hit menu. Uh, we're going to go to radio and arrow over. And we're going to scroll over to menu item 196. So one, and nine, arrow over, and then six, time zone. Uh, every time the GPS turns on, it's going to update your time based on this uh, this time zone uh, I'm an EST uh, Eastern Standard Time and um, it'd be depending on daylight saving times you need to adjust this uh, so that once the GPS acquires the date time it's going to reflect the proper uh, time uh, arrow back go to GPS operating mode is going to be normal um, battery saving turn that off and PC output, don't need to worry about that. My setup, that um, is WGS84. Uh, track, I'm not using that, no log. Um, I'm gonna go into APRS, APRS settings and your basic set, you're gonna set your call sign here. Put in your call, enter over to save. Beacon type, it's gonna be APRS. Uh, you're not gonna use that, uh, APRS. And it's lock off. Uh, internal TNC, the data speed is going to be, I use band A, um, and data speed is 1200 uh, bits per second. Uh, DCD sense, uh, if you're going to be using this um, for satellites, you may, uh, you may want to turn this off so you can hear, ignore DCD, um, so that it'll still send packets even though the, t the, vo the squelch is open. Uh, but I've been having better results leaving it uh, D or RXD and uh, TX delay 200 milliseconds standard COM port I need to worry about that waypoint uh, format NEMA that matters uh, PC port uh, my position beacon info I turn the speed altitude and position uh, off so um, so I could kind of shorten up the packets uh, comment um, position comment I leave that to in service um, in service or in route I just for me if you're not going to be live operator and using this uh, setting it up 24 7 on say a mobile device you probably leave it off duty uh, but for the most part leave it in service status text now um, I set my status text here, number one, it's active, you can tell by the asterisk, um, and I TX every, every it's one to one, um, one to one rate. Every time I, uh, a packet goes out, it's going to send this message. So CQ, CQ, this, uh, this is David via ISS, Echo Mike 91, my grid, uh, I figure they, my Call signs already encrypted in uh, or included in the packet, so I don't need to repeat my call here. Um, and the most important thing, uh, if you're selecting, say two is you know one is maybe your normal APRS status, and you're using two. Um, so here too, I have DJBlackhawk.com. Forward you to my YouTube page. Um, to make that, to select that, you're going to hit this megahertz button, which is the asterisk, um, and that makes that number two active uh, gonna go back to number one hit the asterisk button again make that active um, and then 
you're gonna use that asterisk again, it's important later on, I'll show you. Uh, QSY, this is if you were using it uh, on the ground, you can include your uh, you know, QSY frequency, uh, tone and shift, uh, and people can select your, um, when they get your message, they can actually hit tune to, and it'll tune to that frequency so we can um, talk, but uh, it's not gonna work for ISS, from what I understand, um, unless you're really close within range of me. Um, next one is packet filter. I turn the packet position limit off. That way I can receive uh, packets from as far away as possible via ISS. Uh, filter type, uh, you can kind of disable these right now, like all the, you know, all the filters are enabled, but if you wanted to like disable weather so you don't receive uh, stations with weather information, you can just arrow over here, hit the um, asterisk, and it'll deselect that. Um, now, icon, just use a little running man for my HT. Uh, TX beaconing, um, my method is auto, and I set the interval to one minute. Uh, point, uh, like 30 seconds might be a little too often. Uh, you'll kind of bug up the, the Digipeter and you won't be able to receive as many packets in between or get confirmation of your packet um, in between all you know during the day it's pretty busy a lot of mobiles and base stations are active uh, so you're kind of fighting against them um, so I kind of set it to one minute here and I find that either early morning or late night works a little better when uh, it's not in with the HT anyway because uh, I'm only running five watts so algorithm, the decay, that's only if you're, you know, using the smart beaconing from what I understand and uh, uh, I won't go into that right now. Uh, smart beaconing, you said if you set your, instead of auto, you set your, to smart beaconing, you can set the rate. This is if you're moving around, it'll, that's when, when it'll uh, send a beacon every time you make a uh, increased speed or uh, make a heading uh, angle or slope or time change. Uh, packet bath, this is the important part. So. Normally this is set to new, and there's gonna be an asterisk next to new. So you're going to arrow over, and then up, up, and go from relay to region to other, and then select asterisk, that makes that active, and you can arrow down and type in RS0ISS, and hit enter, oh, okay, uh, to save that and network by default APRS, APK003. Uh, I did update the firmware on this. Uh, there was an update, uh, I think last year, um, to add another uh, compatibility with another um, satellite. Uh, WX stations turned off, I'm not using that. Did you peep my call? I have that enabled for the ground, but let's make a difference here, I, I don't believe. Um, let's see, I'm not using the Digipeter, flood trace, uh, phrase, um, I have my first phrase set to CQ, this is David, Kilo Kilo 4 Mike November Delta, I'm going to remove that probably, uh, Echo Mike 91 Georgia. Uh, so when somebody sends a, uh, uh, or I send a um, respond to ISS, I send this phrase, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, and then my next phrase is uh, QSL. They'll, they'll send me a message back saying they received it. I said QSL 73, this is David, Echo Mike 91, Georgia. Um, let's see, and auto reply, I have that turned off. Uh, so they know it's a live operator. It's something else you can put on your um, information somewhere saying you're a live operator. Um, reply message, this I use um on the ground um that's free that's your auto reply let's see group filter i don't have anything filtered out i'm receiving everything uh sound uh rx beep so i just have it set to rx beep so that when somebody messages me directly i will get a beep um same thing for uh, tx beep uh i have it um I have it set to on so I know that it, the packet went out and special call so if, it'll also beep if RS0 ISS is heard. Uh, display 
Um, I have it set to display the message on the entire screen for about five seconds and the cursor is following. That's when you're typing, um, you know, anywhere in the sending messages or setting things up. Uh, units, um, here in the States, miles per hour. Let's see, unit two. Um, then it, uh, you can set that to whatever you're comfortable with. And we're back to basic set. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to set your frequency. Um, you can either, you know, go into VFO and set uh, ISIS APRS uh, frequencies 145.825. Uh, I have set that stored in a memory. Um, standard APRS frequency here in the States is 144.390. Uh, my number two memory is 145.825, like I said, um, for ISS. Now, once you have the frequency set, uh, what I do is I hit, um, all right, sorry about that, the uh, phone overheated. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit function one to enable GPS. And GPS, once it acquires uh, enough satellites, it'll start flashing. You can also hit position, show your grid and your lat long, and then scroll over to satellites and you can see how many satellites you acquired till you get a 3D position. And arrow back out of there. And now what we do is uh, open up the TNC. We hit the TNC button. Um, and it's blasting some packets out, unfortunately, that I had stored. Uh, hopefully it's not interfering with anybody. The ISIS is not around right now, so it shouldn't be a factor. Um, but now we have your APRS 1200 baud rate enabled. GPS is on. We're on 145.825. Uh, you'll either beacon in a minute or you can turn beacon off, turn beacon on again. It's going to send out a packet. Um, normally, I only do that after I received... Um, packets and it's clear uh, if, if I'm missing if the timings off that'll kind of reset your time when your one minute time starts and uh, it'll only send it when the frequency is clear now one thing I found is that you may every now and then have to hit the squelch button so that it resets it uh, if it's think it thinks that the you know there's still uh, status some uh, f the frequencies in use so it won't send any packets out uh, so every now and then I'll break the squelch and that'll kind of clear things up. Uh, then I will, once it pings off the ISS, I'll get a response under list. Um, it'll show on screen either, you know, ISS, uh, message received. And I go over here to RS0 ISS and I can hit message. And in order to pull up my predefined message, I'm going to hit this uh, function key and it has my preset phase, uh, phrases. So I'll go to one, CQ, CQ, this is David, arrow over, and if I arrow over again, it's going to send that message. So I'm not going to do that again because I've already done that today. Uh, there's an easier way to back out of that one. Um, and then some responses um, so I think I got one here k4kdr-6 heard you via ISS um, in Virginia Fox Mike 17 so I can go back to him hit message hit function and I could say uh, pick phrase 2 KSL 73 uh, this is David you know from Echo Mike 91 Georgia and there you have it. Um, just made a QSO. If you look on um, uh, APRS.FI um, under RS0ISS, you may see the packets there. You may see them under his call, my call. Um, there's also one other site um, that's just, just blanked out. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll put it in the description or in the notes. Um, but that's about it. Um, one other thing, uh, once in a while, I will rotate the antenna to find the maximum uh, signal with the squelch on. Um, that'll kind of give me better odds, uh, so the sending and receiving packets. Um, and that's about it.
you have any uh, questions, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, and uh, have a great field day, 73. This is KK4MND.